a four-year trawl through corporate archives by a historian working for the German automotive manufacturer Continental has revealed that the company, today worth 44 billion euros, played an active role supporting the Nazi party before and during the Second World War. Describing the role as the darkest chapter in her company's history, the current CEO Dr. Elmar Degenhardt said the study was a chance for the multinational to face up to our responsibility. Continental was founded in 1871 as a rubber company. Headquartered in Hanover, Germany, it today makes automobile and bicycle tires as well as brake systems, and automotive electronics. During the early years of the Nazi era the firm made rubber soles for shoes and boots but as Continental's management fell under the sway of Nazi ideology it was given government contracts to manufacture a wider range of products. A key finding of the study by LMU Munich historian Paul Erker was how susceptible Continental was to Nazi ideology. Corporate cultures can quickly topple under pressure from political regimes and opposing social influences, said Dr. Ariane Reinhardt, Continental's executive board member for Human. Erker's study, Supplier for Hitler's War, Continental during the Nazi era, describes how the company used forced laborers, concentration camp detainees and Russian prisoners of war. Some of the concentration camp prisoners were exploited and maltreated to the point of debilitation and death, concluded the study. Prisoners at Sachsenhausen concentration camp near Berlin were forced marched to test boots with rubber soles. The prisoners were expected to walk up to 25 miles per day around the camp's parade ground, and if they fell they risked being shot. Continental became a pillar of the Nazi armaments and war economy, said Erker, who is a specialist in corporate history of the Nazi era. His study also evaluated companies, including Thieves, Video, Phoenix and Sam Parit, which were also part of the German war effort but which Continental only absorbed some years later. Thieves evaded the attempts of the Nazi authorities to influence it while Continental and Video cooperated with a regime with far less conflict, found Erker. The study shows that Continental was an important part of Hitler's war machine, said Degenhardt. We commissioned the study in order to ga, 